guys, welcome back to Brain Dev Adventures. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own customizable keyboard cover for your keyboard of your laptop or computer. So I want to give a huge shout out to Fiha Mazar for requesting this video. I know it took me like so, so long to get to it and I'm super sorry about that, but DIYs just take more time than like other videos. So I finally found time to film this video and I'm super excited. So yeah, if you want to customize your keyboard of your laptop, let's just get right on into it. Alright guys, so here we are on my laptop and the first thing that we're going to do is look for the keyboard of your laptop and it is really, really important that you find the exact one um, that your laptop has so just make sure you're like checking all the keys but basically like I was saying, all you need to do is just look up your keyboard model so mine is an HP Pavilion 14CK white um, or 14CK laptop and I just looked up the white keyboard because this is easier to do if you have a picture with a white keyboard but I think it is still possible with a black keyboard. So I went ahead and just looked through all of these keyboards just making sure that they are the same ones that I have. So I found this one and again I made sure all the keys were the same and once I knew that everything was the same I went ahead and right clicked the image and then saved the image and then now all you want to do is search up basically the image that you want to overlay on your keyboard. So the image that you want on your keyboard cover, it can be anything, you can use images of like your pets or just um, an image off of the internet. I actually just decided to look up some purple fade things because um, if you've seen my laptop it is like a pink faded to a purple to a blue and I wanted to go along with that theme so I decided to choose this picture here. Um, so I went ahead to pick monkey uh, the website it is completely free um, this is the first time I'm using it but basically you can just use or make like images off of it. So the first thing I did was I just added in my picture of the keyboard so I created a new project and then I added in an image and I decided to choose it for my computer and all you have to do is just choose the saved image and then after that I added in the second image of the background that I wanted so I added in another image from the computer and then once I put the image over it it didn't look that good at first but that's because you have to go to pay attention to this you have to go to fade and blend right here and then choose the overlay mode of the blend mode, okay? Once you choose overlay, you can completely, you know, mess with the different uh, things here. I put mine at zero fade. Everyone's gonna have like a different amount of fade or overlay, so just whatever you think looks good and what you're happy with, just stay with that. You can also go to edits, where you can go ahead and just like um, change the saturation of the colors if you have like a background like mine. I went to colors and then I just changed the saturation and the vibrance and stuff like that. So for my uh, laptop overlay, I decided to darken it. So I actually went to sharpen and I put the strength to 100% and also the radius, I adjusted that. That's to make the letters on the keyboard darkened so you're, you can like see them easier. And keep in mind, all you're gonna need is like these little squares. So like everything else is just not gonna be needed. You're gonna cut everything out. All right guys, so now once I'm happy with how the keyboard picture looks, I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of it since um, I think you have to like start the free trial if you want to save the image. So I'm just going to go ahead and screenshot it on my laptop. And then once I screenshotted it, I'm going to head over to Google Drive and... Alright guys, so now I went ahead and just pasted this image of my keyboard onto a Google Doc. And if you are using Microsoft Word, that should probably just work just fine. But yeah, here it is on the Google Doc, and since the paper I'm going to be using is a little bit smaller than my actual keyboard, I went ahead and measured everything out, and I measured like the keys on this image, 
um, and then also the keys on my real life keyboard and I was just making sure they were fitting up and I decided that this is the best way to do it so I'm pretty sure this will fit for your computer um, or keyboard but you should probably double check so just go ahead and flip the image so that it is this way and it's like a portrait but you know the long side is going up and down and then all you have to do is just print it out. Now here is the printed out image. Alright guys, so now once you have your keyboard all cut out here, the next thing we're going to want to do is laminate it, or at least I'm going to laminate it because I just like the laminated look better. And so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and laminate the whole thing in packaging tape. You don't have to do this, you can just skip this part if you want, but in order to laminate it, you want to make sure that there's no bubbles or anything like that. I'm just going to take one big strip of tape and lay it down on the keyboard image. So yeah, I'm basically just going to laminate the rest of this image and make sure that everything is nice and shiny. This will also make it last a lot longer because it will be like waterproof. Alright guys, so here I have my little keyboard Thing laminated and now basically all I'm going to do is cut every single key out so I know this is probably gonna take a long time but don't worry guys it will definitely be worth it also in order to stick these onto your keyboard I recommend that you use either double-sided tape or if you want a more permanent way you could use glue like Elmer's glue or you can even use regular tape and then fold it over and stick it on that way you could use basically anything. You can even use sticker paper if you have sticker paper. Just make sure you print the image onto that paper. So yeah, be creative with this and have fun with it. Also, also guys, as you are cutting your little things out, another thing you can do is stick them on to the keyboard keys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some double-sided tape or glue, just whatever you're using, and then Go ahead and just put it straight onto the key. Alrighty guys, so this took such a long time, but I finally, finally finished sticking all of the keys onto my keyboard of my laptop. This is what it looks like. I am obsessed with the final result. I absolutely love it, and it I think it looks better than I actually thought it would. And I think it just goes super well with my whole laptop theme, but this is what it looks like. I'm super happy with it. And yeah, I definitely think double-sided tape works really well because they're not falling off at all and it's just super nice and shiny looking because of the lamination. But yeah, I'm super happy with the result. So if you tried this on your laptop and you like the result, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel to see more fun videos like this one. And once you've done that, click that little notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. And you can also comment down below any video suggestions or anything you'd like. Another big thank you to Fiha Mazar for requesting this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.